it's finally come to. And it can speak human, turns out. Started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way. Except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket. Where... where am I? On the Albatross. Or the fuck, Bath Isle. It's in a strange tongue, has it? En route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed their prince. Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. They waited their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. We've been at sea long. To know rightly, not that one. Though, on the other hand, <laughs> well, what's it matter, any anyway? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be sailing to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes? Nay, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. And who might you be? Felipe Caligram, at your service. Petty thief, professional fence, and your guide about Oxenford. One of a bit of time. Mm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut off. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, I could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwen. I didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. Did they capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's mistake. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. Elkal! Orial! What's that mean? I told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. I talked to you, Captain. Alakal Sorkal! Galabat Kar! U Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for it. Gileam Balar, Karbarethanem. You'll be dead already. Revhak, me aram e kaar. Dorgathe ye alami. We swore on our own. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Falf, Alakhe, or Irulath. What? Elkar! What just happened? What did they say? Said to sit quiet, and that you'll hang two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get is angry gurgles. They puff up. Notice? Are oh, them fish? What's it they called? Is there anyone here who speaks common? Ah, oh, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. What well, doubt either will talk to you. Uh, that was you. Catch some short eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. I've got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? Not really. Go 
Fauntero Dip, known also as Master Mirror. We met in White Orchard. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know who will turn the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Never like boats. Not one bit. They heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Ugh. Prime to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm, but bear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safely. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king, we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we're doing with the other? The other drought. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. What kind of hell? Tarring, slaying, and watering. This is for regicide and
I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay Debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your feelings? Thanks for your help, really. But you could have chosen more conventional means, given me the key to myself, for instance. Oh, my. Far too simple. I dislike simple solutions. Do you like them? Doubt we're here to talk about my preferences. True. I'd much rather tell you about an individual of interest to us both. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. How do you know we'd met, and that I'm not exactly thrilled with him now? Please, Geralt. I knew the Ophiri had captured you. Was I not to know how this had come to pass? Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. Now the time's come to pay, yet he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I've many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. Above all, I offer a great 
great, true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. All gear had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me. Sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick, but I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a, hmm, how shall I put it, a proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally, and something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Though he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Well, that guy was interesting. Thank you for watching this part. See you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.